Did you know that IIT Kanpur and the National Sugar Institute were started from the premises of this university? Established in 1920 as Harcourt Butler Technical Institute Kanpur, it acquired university status in 2016 and was known as the jewel in the crown of the Uttar Pradesh government for technical education. But how is the BTEC program in this university today? Let's find out in this detailed college review. HBTU has been rated 3.7 out of 5 overall and 3.8 for placements by students on Shiksha.com. As per the official data, a total of 553 students registered for placements, out of which 446 students were placed. The overall placement rate stood at 80.65%. According to the placement report, many eminent companies such as PepsiCo, Adobe, Paytm, Infosys visited during the placement drive. The highest package and the median salary offered were 36 lakh per annum and 6.5 lakh per annum respectively in the 2022-23 placement drive. A look at the year-on-year -year trend in the median salary packages from 2021 to 2023 reveals a consistent rise in the number of offers accompanied by a slight uptick in the median salary. As it can be seen from the graphs below, placement percentages have gone up by around 26% and the median salary packages have gone up by approximately 5% in the past three years. Comparing the median packages of HBTU Kanpur with other neighbouring state government engineering colleges such as Institute of Engineering and Technology Lucknow, you will see that the median salary in HBTU is yet to reach the same levels as those in IIT Lucknow. Roles offered include that of web developer, software engineer and R&D engineer to name a few. Since the college is big on specializations in chemical engineering, more specifically food technology, quite a few FMCG majors such as Nestle, Cadbury, Unilever and Valency International also roll out offers for food science and production management. Talking about internships, students share that almost all eligible students get internship in their third year. They further said that students get on-campus internships with good stipend offers. HBTU Kanpur gives students a variety of options to choose from its bouquet of engineering courses, which consists of 13 BTEC specializations totaling the intake to 912 seats. Interesting fact is that seven of these are offered in the chemical branch itself and specializations ranging from oil, plastic and biochemical. Admission year is completely based on JE Main's course. Incidentally, the university also has a school of basic and applied sciences and a school of humanities and social sciences. Moving on to cutoffs, looking at the year on year trend and closing cutoffs, one can see that they have moved down, resulting in a relaxation of competition levels for many branches, including computer science. However, competition has become increasingly tough in 2023 as compared to 2022 in electrical engineering and some of the chemical specializations such as leather technology and oil technology. Comparing the closing cutoff ranks with IIT Lucknow, it is evident that HBTU is the preferred choice for students, especially from the branches of EE, CSE and ME. The fees at HBTU stands at approximately 6.48 lakhs for four years. With this fee structure and the median salary expectancy, the institute's ROI appears to level up. Students have given a four-star rating for value for money. Let's switch gears to infrastructure and see what students are saying. HBTU Kanpur has received 3.2 star rating for its infrastructure. The university is spread across two campuses, the East Campus and the West Campus. These are situated about 3 kilometers apart in central Kanpur. HBTU offers contemporary facilities including a central workshop, computer center, central library, central store, multi-purpose virtual studio, hostel facilities, guest house, post office, gymnasium, sporting facilities, bank, auditorium, canteen, health centre and maintenance services. Regarding hostel facilities, HBTU offers two hostels for first-year boys, six hostels for senior boys and six hostels for girls. Currently, a total of 1,492 boys and 674 girls can be accommodated based on their merit. However, not all first-year students may be guaranteed hostel accommodation. The university is centrally located approximately 9 kilometers from Kanpur Central Railway Station. Students have shared that due to century-old construction, the infrastructure is not up to standard, especially the older hostel building. Despite old infrastructure, some shared labs and classrooms have good facilities. A new department is under construction and is likely to augment the overall facilities being offered. Students have also shared their appreciation for the good hostel facilities such as a gym, Wi-Fi, students get up to 1 GB free Wi-Fi. The food provided in four college canteens and in the hostel mess is said to be good in taste and hygiene. Talking about the sports facilities provided by the college, students share that the college offers a good sporting culture since the campus is old, it enjoys abundance of area and it has five basketball courts, three 
volleyball courts and two cricket grounds. Shifting gears to the faculty and course curriculum which has received 3.7 stars from students. The curriculum year is said to be relevant although some students have desired a more practical orientation for courses. Meanwhile, teachers are said to be highly qualified, most of them are PhD holders and very helpful. Students also share that semester exams are tough, pass percentage vary from different branches. Let's move on to campus life where HBTU has received 3.8 stars. Around 10 student-run clubs and societies are present here. Students share that the life at HBTU is quite vibrant with plenty of events. Annual fests such as cultural fests, sports fests, technical fest, and literary fests are the most awaited events. Finally, the NIRF ranking. HBTU has not been ranked in the 2023 rankings, the last time it was ranked in 2021. For more details on HBTU Kanpur or to check out thousands of course and college reviews, visit shiksha.com. We'd like to hear from you, so do drop in a comment below and do not forget to like and share this video.